pennies to you, child of Earth. Now, I don't think it's unfair to say that Energon is broadly thought of as the acne-ridden middle child of the Unicron trilogy, which itself seems to be considered the hormonal awkward boner of the Transformers meta. I mean, come on, Energon was neither the balls-out come-at-me statement of Armada, nor the refined fun explosion of Cybertron, but somewhere beneath the hit-and-miss gimmicks and clumsy design conventions, there'd be a rich, creamy heart of pure party. And its name was Toline. Let's go, Line! Yes, indeed, this beige little box boy is combat-class Toline, and he's certainly a bit of an oddball. I mean, as far as I know, Energon didn't really overdo it on the G1 fan service. Like, there were Dinobots and Combiners and... Insecticons. Alright, forget it. But anyway, check out this chip off the old Ironhide block. I kind of love that they revisited the old man in a van toy design just this one time, and it's like they finally came to terms with the fact that it just can't be a badass. I mean, check him out. He's all awkward and fat and doughy with his way back legs and shoulder line. He's like a capital P for Pac Man. So little Tobot poses borderline okay. I mean, he's just missing a thigh and a waist swivel, but I suppose he can do a pretty sweet kick with his pistol toes. You go, line. Arms are somewhat more awkward with a functional but super tight shoulder bicep clump with a big old single slab hand forearm. And check it out, the robot's actually got a head in an Ironhide clan first, but he doesn't seem too bloody happy about it. Emo line. But I just love that it embraces how much of a dweeby obviously is. I mean, it's a class little robot, but there's nothing cool about it. Even the colours are a bit 1970s bathroom with his heavy walnut wallpaper, porcelain blue and bronze piping. Plus he's only packing this weird non-aggressive weapon with like a radar dish and a search scope. Is that even a weapon? And check it out, his ride's precisely as much of a babe magnet set to repel. I mean, the original one had like a sweet mounted bling cannon and a bitchin' rocket launcher. This one's just a big empty deck so we can have a sausage roll and a sit down. If you want, you can mount the gear up there, but that only makes it worse. Also, I can kind of almost see a little creature face on the front grill there, like some kind of trailer pet. What a bloody softy. But you gotta admire little Tobro for just owning what he is and making no apology for it. It's just so rare and refreshing to have a mainline trans Transformers character who's just not a fighter in any capacity. He's just a little weird tubby one who hangs out in a camper van and tries to make himself useful with his old radio equipment. Oh my god, he's Greg Universe. <laughs> Transformation's easy and just irresistible. All clicky joints and clasping panels. And the robot's actual alt mode is a hot slab of nothing, like one of those lame-ass movie protoform things, but even less refined somehow. But it looks the absolute bomb once you wrap it up in the van shell. What do you know, Line? Check out this sweet sort of space utility van. It's just so perfectly chugsome and blue and lovely and solid, with the classic Autobody red stripe there and the sort of reverse Al Jolson white face. Is it okay? joke about now, eagle-eyed viewers may notice he's got an Autobot sticker on there, because the original painted one flaked off one day. Oh, Hasbro, this is somehow your fault. But you can bang on the non-weapon there. Weapnon? For a kind of broadcast vehicle flavour? And for some reason it makes me really happy that he's got these rad little sculpted ladders. Radders? He's also packing no shortage of fan modes with his pleasingly rolly wheels sprouting out the bottom there, like Arto Dito. <laughs> Ooh, the first recorded fan mode standing tripod doody do. Along with, of course, the Nightmare Scorpion Centaur fan mode. I imagine the Superlink feature's quite fun on this guy as well, with potential for all kinds of half humanoid semi van monstrosities. You vanoid. But I can't seem to find any mates for you. Landmine? Starscream? Anyone? Nah? Oh no, line. But yeah, what is with that name anyway? I mean, he's hardly built for towing, and he hasn't got a line. Clearly they just lumbered him with one of those off-the-shelf stock names, like Heavy Load, or Drop Shot, or Blast Blast. What, could they not have used Ironhide? Oh. So Toline's a bit of a fun pack little frump. He's just loaded with character and the whole separating van thing gives him this whole vehicle playset vibe like something out of Mask. And good on him for being who he is. Because it would have been so easy just to make this an iron hide or a ratchet toy. But they didn't. They made a whole new guy in the stuffy old robot on a sweet rocket sled formula. But one that admits it's a dork. Ready, set, go line. Does that work for a closer? Big love this time to Toy Foo, the charity toy crew. They do great work. Check them out at a convention this coming summer. Rubber dub dub, like, comment, sub. God, I'm f***ing unbearable. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for more Thieves Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.
Wow, wow. Ha, 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 ha.